Let's talk about physio registration in New Zealand and Australia. There are different pathways of physio registration in New Zealand and Australia. We are going to dis discuss international express pathway. Let's start. International express. So in international express pathway, if you have at least registration in one of the following countries like UK, Ireland, Canada, and South Africa, then you can apply and follow this international express pathway. Either you can have HCPC, CORU, CAPR, or HCPSP. Or if you have a primary qualification in one of these countries, like United Kingdom, Ireland, Canada, and South Africa, and your qualification is recognized in that specific country, then you can follow this international express pathway. And the cost is only $847. And it will take only one to two weeks to get your New Zealand registration if you have registration of, of any of those four countries. And the required documents for that are your birth first certificate or your passport, your evidence of name change if applicable, your transcripts of all the four or five years, whether you have done BSPT or DPT or BPT, or if you have done master or not, it doesn't matter. Then certificate of good standing from all the authorities, from all the authorities that you have registered with, whether it's HCP, whether it's Pakistan, whether if you are applying from Pakistan and you have HCP, HCP registration, then you need your certificate of good standing from both the countries. And then police certificate, your police certificate from any country you lived in for more than 12 months in the last 10 years. And you need the cultural competency courses, the two courses for New Zealand registration. One, you can do any, I have mentioned the three courses, you can do any two. Foundation and cultural competency, foundation course in healthcare and PTO, but you have done these two, so you can do any two. And then one of the most important thing is the proof of English language. If your first language, if you are from Canada, if your national language is English, then there is no requirement for any of the English language tests, right? And if you have your degree from any of these countries, then again, you don't need any English language test. But if you don't belong to any of these countries and your degree is not from these countries, then you need to do IELTS. In IELTS, you have to get seven bands. You can get 6.5 in writing, otherwise seven each. You can do OET. You need minimum score of 350 in reading, listening, and speaking, but you can do 300 in writing. You have to do, you can do PTE as well. Any test you can do. And the minimum, minimum score for PTE is 65, right? And you can do TOEFL as well if you want. And the minimum score is 94. I have written the how much you want, minimum score you want in listening, reading, writing, and speaking. And all the documents must be certified. You have to go to notary public, take photocopies of all the documents and notarize all the photo photocopy document and send directly to this email, registration at physioboard.org.newtrimand. And the document should not be less than three months old when you submit your application. This is all, this is the very, Simple pathway of New Zealand registration. If you have any questions, you can ask by commenting on the video. Thank you.